Hey everyone, how's it going and welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for coming by. So before this video gets started, just a reminder, if we can get this video to 1,000 likes, I'm gonna shave my head. Um, not even just with clippers, but also with like shaving cream and stuff because I am going to look like the Uber CEO Dara. I'm gonna get his haircut. So if you want me, I thought it would be a funny joke if we could get this video to a thousand likes. I will do that on camera for my next video. So give this video a thumbs up if you want. All right, so getting straight into today's video. This is pretty um, insane. I'm gonna share my thoughts. I, if you haven't heard yet, or you know, just by reading the title, Lyft is adding a panic button so riders can call 911 from the app. So if you didn't know, there have been, sorry, I'm playing with, uh, some of you guys have been saying, oh my gosh, you play with your hair so much, what's wrong with you? Um, I don't know, doesn't everyone play with their hair? Gosh, people pick, I swear, online, on YouTube, people pick out like, you will notice so many things about yourself if you post videos online. Someone's probably going to say, oh, you know, he shakes his hand too much, or he didn't shave his mustache today. Oh, look at that pimple. Like, I get it. I have insecurities already. So, yeah. Um, thank you for pointing out all of my flaws. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Just had to get that out there. But today's video, guys, I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on Lyft. Oh, yeah. So, basically, what... Sorry. Backtracking. What I was talking about earlier... If you didn't hear, there have been some recent incidences in um, Uber and Lyft rides where some passengers were like getting in the wrong car or like they were some, I think one person got kidnapped, another person got like, I don't know. There, there's just been some weird things going on. Um, however, what I did want to point out is that these things have been going on for a long time and then... Now, just like with media and now with Uber and Lyft, how everything's tracked, they're just becoming more out in the open. Like, these things have been going on forever since taxis even started, you know, people, incidences going on. So, um, but yeah, I guess Lyft is adding a panic button, so riders can dial 911 through the app if you guys haven't heard. That's pretty nuts. Um, the company will also enlarge driver license plate numbers in the app to reduce incidences of mistaken identity. So I guess this is not a way to prevent, well the, the driver's license will be a way to prevent, but the uh, 911 thing will be a way to kind of, um, you know, protect the rider in certain cases where they do feel in danger. Um, which my first response, my first impression is like, why doesn't the rider just dial 911 from their phone? Why do they need an extra like button in the app? That's just my thought, but I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm dumb. I don't know. I'm pretty dumb. So a lot of times, um, most of you guys, a lot of you guys say, this guy has no idea what he's talking about. So maybe you're right. Maybe I do have no idea what I'm talking about. Do I read the comments too literally? I don't know. Maybe I should stop reading the comments. Um, but yeah, Lyft announced several new initiatives on Tuesday. So today is Wednesday right now. I'm going to try to upload this video. I'm on... Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Hopefully this video will be up by like 3 or 4 so I can get this out as quickly as possible. Lyft announced several new initiatives on Tuesday that are designed to enhance the safety of its passengers. I mean, I am a fan of that. The company is adding an in-app panic button for riders who need to call 911. It did the same for the driver's app late last year. So, yeah, um, I'm honestly a, a huge, huge fan of safety. If you have seen any of my videos, you know I talk about safety a lot. So I'm a huge fan of that. Um, I honestly just don't know what the difference is between, you know, it's really easy to call 911 from your phone. Like you just open up your phone, dial 911. Like I don't see why. It's honestly like might be an extra step if you have to do it in the Lyft app. But may, again, maybe I'm missing something. And then also the enlarging of the license plate thing. That's actually awesome because that's the only way that the passenger can verify if it is the correct driver because as a driver our only verification you know if you're a passenger watching this our only verification to know that you're our correct passenger is by you telling us your name so if you don't tell us your name we don't have we have no idea who you are you know you could just be making up some name like if i say oh are you henry you could easily say yes. So that's why we ask you, what is your name? And then you, 
as the passenger, you can check the license plate in the back and then verify it with your phone. That's your, you know, um, I guess verification. And for us, it's you telling us what your name is and, and or you telling us what your driver's name is, which should be our name, you know? So I do like that Lyft is enlarging the license plate number in the app. Honestly, I think it should be like up top while the passenger is, um, you know, walking up like when, as soon as they open their app, it should just say the license plate number at the top. Right now you do have to scroll down a little bit. So like, that's good. Um, other, yeah, other changes, like I said, driver's license plate number in the app, which is an effort to blah, blah, blah. The changes come from a month after a university South Carolina student was killed allegedly by a man posing as her Uber driver. So yeah, this wasn't even an, an actual Uber driver. This was just somebody pretending to be. Um, Lyft is also offering sexual harassment prevention training to all of its drivers and riders in light of numerous incidences, incidents, not incidences, my bad, of harassment or assault. Where's this training going on? I haven't heard anything about this training. And are passengers actually going to show up to this training? Um, maybe it's in the app. A 2018 CNN let me know if you have heard anything about the, the prevention training, sexual harassment prevention training, because I don't know much about that. 2018 CNN report found that 103 Uber drivers and 18 Lyft drivers had been accused of sexual assault or abuse. Oh, I think it's way higher than that because um, a lot of false reports are going, are going on. Both companies conduct background checks and say passenger safety is their top priority. Lastly, Lyft will require passengers to provide feedback every time they rate a driver less than four stars. That information will then be anonymously communicated to the driver so they can see blah, blah, blah. This is going public last few months, both Uber and Lyft, blah, blah, blah. Today's announcement is the latest in a series of product updates for Lyft focused on safety. That's awesome. I honestly do like that they're, you know, doing a series of product updates um, solely focused on safety. Um... So yeah, if you guys didn't know, if now if you're driving for Lyft and you do get a ticket while you're driving, um, like a big one, like you get into a big accident and it is your fault, like they could actually um, suspend you from driving or deactivate you because now what they're doing is they're doing ongoing checks, background checks. And even if you, you know, even if you don't go through Lyft insurance, they're still going to find out because they're still running these checks on you. Um, or if you commit a crime or something, like they're gonna deactivate you. Now they're super strict. They, again, they announced this, as you can see here, I can just, um, you know, open this up in a new tab really quick. Um, Uber and Lyft roll out new safety measures in wake of college students murder. In-app reminders to verify your driver's car, okay. Um, but yeah, basically they're doing, um, oh, Background checks. Let's see if this comes up. Um, Uber now monitors drivers in real time for new criminal charges. Okay, so maybe it's not the accidents. I think they do that still as well, but this is mainly for the accidents. Um, but yeah, that's... Let's see if... There's one more article I wanted to go over really quickly. This is more about the panic button. The panic button is all about this video, what we're talking about now. Let me know, what do you guys think of the panic button? Is that a good idea? Do you support that? Do you think it's a little overkill? Can, can should the passer, I mean, they can just dial it on their phone, like, you know, open up, why do they need it in the app? Like I said, maybe I am missing something. Um, yeah, like the 911 is supposed to, um, like I said, it's supposed to be super easy already, but maybe not. Um, anyways, guys, that's it for today's video, pretty much. Um, if you have any questions about this, I will do, you know, more research on this. I just, like I said, wanted to get this video out super fast because I like to start this conversation. And then I'll make a follow-up video based on your guys' comments down below, giving your feedback, thoughts, questions. I'm gonna do all my research, you know, this is, I didn't really do much, much research for this, to be honest. Um, but what I like to do is do a bunch of research, gather all your guys' comments, data, and then, um, you know, try to call up somebody at Lyft and ask them exactly why this is happening, you know, and that way I can give you the best um, full feedback, entire story in its full. So anyways, guys, again, if you want me to look like Dara, ugh, my hair is too long right now. If you want me to look like this guy, 
uh, get a haircut like him, then smash the thumbs up button. Let's get to 1,000 likes. And um, yeah, that'll that'll be make for a hilarious video. Anyways, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. This has been another episode of the Rideshare Hub. You guys are great. Make sure to subscribe so you never miss another video on Uber and Lyft. And I will see you all next time. All right, bye, guys.